Hey everyone, how are you doing? Very warm welcome to this latest video of myself, Ben, here at Balling Crypto. This is part of the Zoom wallet setup. The Zoom wallet is a wallet that's over on the XRPL and allows us to interact with NFTs and assets on the XRP ledger. The process of setting up uh, the initial part of the wallet I have already covered uh, in the Zoom wallet setup. You can find that on the Boring Crypto YouTube channel. This is part two because to activate the wallet, we actually need to have some XRP. The easiest way for us to have XRP, if you're already a crypto user, you can transfer it in from a centralized exchange. Or if you're one of the many people that we have in our community that are using Stellar, the easiest way is through an anchor. One of these anchors is situated in the Lobster Wallet, and Lobster Wallet being one of the more popular wallets on the Stellar network. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna use the anchor, and we are going to send those assets over, the XRP assets that we need to activate the wallet, over to the Zum Wallet. The Zum Wallet then is ready to interact with the Sologenic NFT marketplace platform, right? So that's part three. So this is really just so we can get some XLM transferred into XRP on Stellar. And when we've got it on Stellar, we're gonna move it then from Stellar to the XRP ledger. So that's the purpose of this video, just so you uh, have got like an understanding. What I will say as always is this is not financial advice. As you know, my videos are information, education and purposes only. There's no triggers here to buy anything or to do anything at any specific time. It's just so that you can navigate the crypto space with a little more confidence, with a little less friction. Right, so what I've done is I've sent a small amount, 300 XLM, into this lobster wallet and you can see that, that balance is populated right there so that's transactions come across and if you're already in crypto and you're already using stellar you know that's a relatively simple process so we can use our freighter wallet our rabbit wallet albedo export whatever you want you can send it into here now some of those wallets will have the bridges um, sorry the anchors in place for you to be able to move assets from one network to another, but I'm just using the lobster route. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves some XRP. Bearing in mind, this is a different XRP than the one that is on the coin, yeah, the native coin on the XRPL. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna choose this one. If it is not showing here, right, i.e. you haven't already added it, search by code or home domain. This means by asset issuer code or home domain. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually link in the description the videos to setting up your lobster wallet, setting up an asset uh, the trust line and buying your first crypto. But we are just gonna pick the F chain one, which is this one here. As you can see, I've used it before. So essentially what we're doing is we're selling our XLM into XRP through this transaction if you do want to use moon pay and you are brand new to crypto you've never like used crypto before again i'm going to ta uh, link the video of how you can buy your first crypto using this tab here in the description of this video so you're going to get all of the different videos that you're going to need if you're brand new right then so we're going to transfer let's just use 250 to make a nice round number 250 XLM, and it's already populated, look, it's gonna get a 62 XRP. And if you remember in the first video, we only need 10 to activate our wallet. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna transfer this over. So we can see, we're gonna make a swap. We're gonna confirm swap, and it's performing the swap for us. So we'll wait for this. It shouldn't take us too long for this to happen. Normally, four to six seconds on the... Uh, um, on the Stellar Ledger for that, there we go, that's done. So we've now got these extra XRPs, so I'm happy. And you can see this balance is populated there. Now what we want to do is we want to send these, right? So we need to look at our assets. We want to send these over to our Zoom wallet. And we've got the F chain, yeah, F chain to IO. We've got the XRP there. Now you can see there is a deposit and withdraw available. 
this has given us an opportunity of moving these assets cross chain and like i said during that transition they will change form from the f chain to the native coin of the xrpl right i hope all of that is sinking in we are going to click onto that little tab yeah we're going to click onto this little tab and it should when the uh, computer decides that it wants to work it's going to take us through to this page here. We want to withdraw our XRP by clicking on this tab here. It's telling us the F chain and it's giving us the asset issuer there that we can double check, make sure it's the right one. Loads of scam assets on the Stellar Ledger like many other networks. So just double check you have got the right one. How many do we want to move? Well, we sent, we transferred 60 odds. We're just going to say 60 again. We're going to keep it nice and round, okay? So we want amount 60. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paste the Zoom wallet address. Remember, we set it up in video number one? Yeah, it's Zoom wallet setup. That's what we had. That's when we went through all of the different secret numbers and all of the digits and everything. And we set up that wallet. We got the address at the end. I've copied that address pasting it in there ensuring that it's the right one so i'm looking at my mobile device now with my zoom wallet to ensure that that's the correct address now we here we can put in the correct destination tag to an, a, 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 an address that requires it most of the uh, centralized exchanges out there are going to require you to put a specific tag in so it goes to the right place so rather than it just being the wallet address you would have to put in a tag and this is called a memo over on the Stellar Ledger. So as you can see, there's similarities in the two, slight differences in some of the terms. This tag doesn't need to be put in because we're sending it to our own personal wallet. So we don't have to have that clarification. But if you're using centralized exchanges regular, you'll know what I'm talking about. So we're happy now that we're sending 60 XRP from the F chain asset across into the anchor and it will come out the other side into our wallet and we will have our 60 XRP sat there in our Zoom wallet. So we're going to continue, check the details, withdraw, and we'll wait. And this will now pick up. There we go, withdrawal initiated. Funds have been sent to anchor for withdrawal process. Please allow some time for transaction to be processed. If you're having issues with your transaction, contact the support at fchain.io. So we've now gone into the fchain anchor for this specific asset. So we're moving XRP just one more time from the Stellar Ledger across onto the XRPL. And in the next video, I am going to show you, in fact, what I'll do is I will add that video to this video so that you can see then in the Zoom wallet that the funds have arrived. So I'll like just pop that on top. I'll overlay that video here. So you should be able to see it right now on the right hand side. And that is showing us the 60 XRP that have now landed. Remember, we need 10 to activate the wallet to give us a working balance of 50 XRP. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope it's been useful. Please as always like, subscribe, share the um, content if you think that you know people who are going to benefit from setting up this system to move assets from Stellar across onto the XRPL. Cheers. Speak to you soon.